Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today we're going to be looking at creating real 3D text in Unity because I did do a tutorial on this a while ago, but it was using Text Mesh Pro or Unity's default text, which is technically in a 3D space, but it's not 3D type game objects, which look like they've got some extrusion to it. Now I'm going to show you two specific assets which can help you make this happen. Also, I will show you it in both 3ds Max and Blender to be able to create 3D text to be able to import into Unity or create custom meshes to be able to use in these free assets. So the free asset will be the Mad Easy 3D Text Editor, which will allow you to take custom 3D objects of specific letters that you've created, or it does have some presets and create specific 3D text based on that. And then we'll also look at the modular 3D text in-game 3D UI system, which has a whole system created for whether you want to have text, sliders, different functionality with a lot of more core features, but this is a paid asset, but it has a lot more in-depth features and it's built in to make it a lot more easy for you. So let me know what you think of this tutorial because I'd really love to hear some tips and tricks from you guys. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 125 different scripts and assets you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to throw a like and subscribe to the video and make sure you have all the notifications on to be notified when I upload new content. So we're going to be looking at Mad Easy 3D Text Editor to be able to create 3D text directly in Unity. So all you need to do when you import the package is you can go to prefabs and then you can just drag the writer file into your hierarchy or into the scene like here. You'll get the inspector on the right hand side and you can choose some parameters of what you want your text to look like. So we could just call this whatever we want. So I'll just call this speed tutor. We can choose the 3D font file that's already been created for us based on what this developer's created. So we could just use the Arial font. We can choose that it's going to be a basic material. You can create a new one that you want. It will, you can set the character count, you can build the word, clear it, you can have some editables, whether how, how big it is, what the spacing is, what the rotation is, you can add animation modules, rigid bodies, and anything else you might want. But say we're ready to go, we can just hit complete. And now you can see that our 3D text is exactly here. We can go to the, and if we go to shaded wireframe, you can see our 3D text there with the polygons that are in it. And that's as simple as it is. Once that's done there, you can, clear the word. You can adjust some settings if we want more depth, more scale, less spacing, more rotation, and we can build the word and we get something really weird, but that's just an example and we can change it as we want. And we can have some funky text like this. You can just click complete and then it will save it out as a 3D object that we can use with all the different clones of the letters that are used in each individual case. And we can move this wherever we may want. And of course, if you want to create your own fonts, what you need to do is you need to create your own scriptable object. So in this case, we can go create and with 3D fonts, we can go to 3D font. And once we add that, you can name this my new font. And in the case of this, we need to add individual model files for every single particular letter that you might want to use. And I'll show you how you can make letters and text in 3D in 3ds Max and Blender to give you a quick start and you can import those 3D models in and attach those to the scriptable object and then use them in the prefabs and then that writer file which looks for the font 3D file. So we're going to be looking at the modular 3D text which is the in-game 3D UI system on the Unity Asset Store at around $25 depending on if you get it on a sale, it might well be cheaper. And this allows you to create real-time 3D text, whether that be for UI events, UI elements, you can create sliders, it has pre-built in things for creating animations, creating lots of different custom 3D effects. You can create your own fonts. So it was far more streamlined than the previous because obviously this one has a lot more work gone into it. When you bring the Tiny Giant Studio modular 3D text, they've got a bunch of different sample scenes where you can look at this one is their logo. So they've got different style fonts you can change. They've got toggles which can move. They've got sliders which you can interact with. They've got specific 3D buttons, input fields, normal text, and just lots of different core examples for different health damages. But we're going to take just an example of how to basically use it. You go to tools, tiny giant studio on modular 3D text. It shows you the um, basics for how to create a 3D text. So you import that in with your hierarchy and you've got different buttons here to check out the documentation 
or create your own font if you want to out of some font files. So in your hierarchy, you can right click, you can go to 3D object, then you can go to modular 3D text, and then you can choose text list button, input field slider, toggle progress bar or horizontal select. So in this case, we'll just choose text. And you can see that in my 3D preview, I can lift it up here and we can see that we've got the modular 3D text as it is on here. You can go to the inspector and you can change the text to something like that. We can change the font that it uses by selecting the little selector. We get a bunch of fonts that are built into this asset itself. We've got the material. We can set the actual size so we can scale it in and out. We could choose how the text is oriented. We could choose where it's positioned, whether that's middle, top or up and down. You can set the height of the actual bounding box that it lives in and also the width to be able to change the actual look of it. So you can add modules to it. So you can have it to glow, shrink, add gravity, add a rigid body. And we can also select the very individual letters and be able to move these out. You can also choose to make your text thicker. And also you can set this as a single mesh. So it's not separate objects if you just need it as a bit of 3D text. So now if you've got the option of 3ds max and you want to create some 3d text whether that's for each of the individual letters for that asset that i've shown you or to make it just individually to be able to create a bunch of text just to import straight into unity as i say a model so what we can do is go to the right hand side and go to the shapes we can click on the text and then we can just go to the front view part and just click to add some text you can over on this right hand side name whatever the text that you want to be. We could just name this tutorial and you can see my text down here. And then of course you can always edit the text if you wanted different letters and whatever you want that to be. Remember now when we've got the settings, we need to be able to extrude this text to make it look 3D. So if we go to the modifiers tab at the top, then go to the modifier list and just go down to extrude. We can extrude by a certain amount and I've just pulled this out about, about 9.5 meters depending on what your units are. And now you can see we've got 3D text. You could export this out as you want now or export each of these separate letters as you want from here. But what you could do is to make this slightly more optimized is you can go to the text. If you go to the interpolation steps, you can actually take this down so your text will become less smooth on circular objects but you will have less polygon count. So I could keep it like that. And what we could do to collapse that, I'll right click and convert to editable poly. And then in this case, if we click the drop down on editable poly, go to element, we could select this one object like the T here, and then we could select it with element and choose to detach from the object and press OK. And then this object can now be your T in your letter if that's what you really wanted and so on and you can export either this separately or just as an FBX if you go to file export export selected in either case and just save it as an Autodesk FBX. So now in this case if we're in Blender and we want to either create some custom text that we can export straight into Unity or the separate letters to be able to use in the free asset we can just delete the default cube then we can hold shift and A and then we can go and click text. Once we've done that, we've got our text here. We can press tab and it will go into edit mode. We can delete what we have here because we get the little cursor and we can just name this whatever we want. So I'm just going to name this speed tutor. And then on our right hand side, we can go to the text options or the properties. We can go to the geometry tab and we can just scale up our 3D text. And then if you did want to change the font, you can just go to say the regular font here, search in a folder, you can go to your C drive and then choose the fonts file. And then we can choose all the files that might be installed on our system. And you can choose something that you already know you might like something absolutely horrendous like this. And when you're on geometry, you can actually set the resolution down. So you get slightly less polygons in the text that you're going to create. Then you could save this text out however you so wish and import that into Unity or as separate models. So I hope this helped everybody out and got you an idea of how you can do different versions of 3D text across 3D Unity Blender, 3DS Max and two different assets for free and paid. So let me know what you think and if you have any suggestions to make this even better, 
be sure to comment down for everybody else to check out your great suggestions. So, so be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 125 different scripts, assets and projects you can't find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord. Come and check out my great assets on the Unity store and bonus discounts on my website where you can get all those great assets. Bonus codes in my description. So thank you to all my patrons and all the amazing subscribers. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.